Hello Internet! Today I'm going to show a pretty new feature to you, which was included in the last few nightly builds into CyanogenMod. Mod. And it's, tada, the Kronos widget. It's what you see right here. It shows you the clock, it shows you the weather, and it shows you the calendar. You can configure all that pretty much. How do you add it to your screen? It's simple. You move it over there like any other widget. You see, it's first only showing a few things. If you resource it though, it first gets bigger, then it shows you the weather, then it shows you the next events, and even more events. So, um, how can you configure it? You go to Settings, System, and there we have an entry Clock Widget. That might move in the future, but right now it's there. Clock and Alarm allows you to toggle between the digital clock, which is default, and an analog clock, if you like that more. So let's stick with the digital clock for now. You can toggle to show the next alarm. You can toggle some stuff about uh, boldness. Um, you can enable or disable weather and you can use different icons. The icons it uses by default were, as far as I know, introduced with ice cream sandwich. And um, we also can show colored um, different animated icons. Right now I have crappy weather outside, so I cannot show you the sun icon, but the sun will be colored. Um, for now, I stick with the default icons. Um, use metric or um, um, what is it? Fahrenheit, I guess, if you toggle it off. Oh, did it just create a lag? Uh, location timestamp and the like. And you can also um, configure the calendar events if you, um, how big the look ahead is. Um, if you only want events with reminders, you usually might want to hide all day events because they are birthdays, but it's on you how you do it. Um, so, I've it configured this way. Now we look at the lock screen. If we look at the lock screen, we can add it as a widget, like any other widget. Here it is, Kronos. And now it's here. Problem is, it's only small and won't show you everything. But let's first see how we get it as a default widget, because if we um, uh, we now don't have it as default widget. This is the default widget if you remove everything. So we also can remove this baby. Just long press it, go to remove, and now this is the default. So we still haven't solved the problem with the maximized widgets. And there is an option exactly for that. Go to lock screen and you can set maximize widgets. If you now lock your scroll, uh, screen and unlock it, you see it's maximized. To unlock um, the screen you can either tap the uh, lock symbol and just unlock like usual or um, which is a far better solution, long press the lock and it's unlocked. So this is pretty neat, isn't it? The last thing I want to show you is what happens if you enable a pattern. Let's set a pattern real fast, pattern 3x3. Three three. Let's take this pattern, it's just for testing after all. So if you now lock it, and open it, you have what you would expect, and now I long click the lock and I have a pop-up here. Pretty neat, isn't it? So I guess that covers all I wanted to show you in this video. I'm Dr. King Schultz, this is my horse Fritz, thanks for watching.